Blessings, everyone. Let's talk briefly about dominion identity for the journey. First Peter 2, 2 and 9 says, We are chosen race of royal priesthood, a consecrated people for God's own possession, so that you may proclaim the excellency of him who has called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. So being consumed by what people think of you is the fastest way to forget what God thinks of you. That's a quote from Craig Rochelle. During this consecration period, many things will change and or fall off, such as bad habits, bad attitude, or, and of course, some weight. With all with our sincere pursuit of God, our attitude and appetite will change too. As we ascend, go up, rise in the next chapter of our lives, we really find out who we are. Also in the pursuit of God, your relationship with him grows like that of a mustard seed faith. First Peter 2 and 9 says, We are royalty who have dominion and authority. The territory belongs to us, whether in location or in mindset. So let's put on the priestly garment of prayer and praise. And with the clapping of our hands to confuse the enemy. We are not here to take sides, but to take over. We are holy, set apart, dedicated for a specific purpose. As we stay in constant communion with God, he establishes us. Second Chronicles 20 and 20 says, Believe and trust in the Lord your God, and you will be established. Planted in identity. Greater awareness and revelation of who you are and what you're called to do. It's time, saints of God, for us to break out of the mediocrity and possess the greatness that is in us, that he died and rose to give to us. Grab hold to the fullness of your capacity. You're built for it, made for it, empowered to stand strong. You are not an accident or mass production from any assembly line. You were deliberately planned, specifically gifted, and lovingly positioned in the earth. That's a quote from Max Lucado. Ephesians 2 and 10 says, We are the craftsmanship created in Christ for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk therein. It's, It's been in us from the beginning of time. So now let's tap into it, walk in the authority to take territory and be who we are called to be. We must be sober minded and alert. For the enemy comes to get you off your game. The higher or closer you get to God, the more struggles or warfare you will encounter. But be a good cheer. The Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong in the Lord in the power of his might. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. So in, in, in order to take the territory, we must know who we are. So let me encourage you. First, you need to stay focused, paying close attention to what God is saying, not the naysayers. You have to be faithful, loyal, consistent, and steadfast to the call. Thirdly, unfeigned, be genuine, sincere, and true to yourself. With that being said, let us pray. Father, we may, may we continue to abide in you as you abide in us. Show us great and mighty things we know not of. We command every atmosphere to change because we are in it. It is so, and so shall it be. In the name of Jesus, amen.